In this video, I'm going to talk about working with time on a pivot table. And in, in this instance, it's time duration. Now, I have done very similar things to this with barcodes, where there, you're have recording the in and out time, and we have a job number, so you're trying to record the in and out not time um, relative to a job and who's doing it. Now, um, the easiest thing to do here is um, the way I've figured it out is that the easiest thing to do is to calculate your time duration um, on your original sheet. And so this is very simple. Oh yeah, if you click, I click on this one, you, uh, you can see that it's the finish time and this is a table. So it says at finish minus start. And then you're, you're left with um, hours, minutes, and seconds. So now let's go and create a pivot table. So I'm clicking someplace in my chart. I'm going to the insert command. I'm clicking pivot table. And it says we're going to put it on a new worksheet. And I say, that's just fine. Thank you. And say, OK. OK, so now I have uh, my list of fields here. And so what I want to do is I want to put in, let's do first, let's do employees, employees by rows and um, job numbers um, by columns. And then for the sum fields, I'm going to put in total hours. Now it puts it in as um, first of all, it's changed it to count of hours, and I'm going to change it to sum. But it's put it in as one and not um, and not the time value. So what I'm going to do is I'm clicking the um, list arrow here, and I'm going to value field settings. Okay, so I'm going to change it to sum from this dialog box, and then I'm going to go to the number format. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to custom. And now what I'm going to type in here in the box is I'm going to put square bracket H and then the end of square bracket, then I'm putting a full colon and then I'm going MM for minutes and another full colon and I'm going SS for seconds. And then I'm going to say OK and OK again. And so now you have your time where you where you can uh, actually see what the actual time is. And so we have a grand total of all the time and and Barb has spent uh, 10 minutes and 28 seconds and Shirley here has spent three hours. Now let's go the other way, very similar to this. Um, let's let's take this out of here and let's uh, put employees here and let's go job number and let's go employees. And so there you have, you have the job numbers, the jobs being broken down to two job numbers, and this is how much time each of the employees. Now, you could easily create um, a pivot chart with this. So let's put a, insert a pivot chart. And I like um, this one here. So you can see how much time that everybody has done on your, on your projects. And so there you go. So that is how you work with time on a pivot table. Please subscribe.